Hey guys, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you a mini beginner's guide for players who are just starting this new game, I think new game, called Pilgrimed. Let's get straight into this. So, I know I'm not that good at the game, I'm only level 9, but I've kind of grabbed the basics of the game, and I know how pretty much it works. So, how you're going to start is, obviously you're going to talk to the, you're going to talk to the skeleton dude, and he's going to send you over here to this place he'll just tell you the basics of the game you can loot and he'll send you to this village over here now you might be a little confused you might not know what to do but the one thing that you're gonna want to do is complete quests the, the entire game is based on quests you need to complete quests in order to progress through the game get new items and there are drops from enemies but i'll explain that later but the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to talk to this guy named abraska and he's gonna be telling you that that you want to kill some thieves, and once you kill some thieves, you're going to get a reward from it. And thieves can be found way out over here. And if you go over here, you will see that there are thieves that spawn right, like, right over there. As you can see, there's a thief. There's a thief right here. I'm going to go fight him real quick. As you can see, as he comes over, you know, you can parry and stuff. I made a video on how to parry. My other video, I made a good strategy. You just parry and then you hit twice. You do it, yeah, there you go. You parry and you hit twice and you kill them. And um, basically, you just want to kill five of those. And um, yeah, so basically, once you complete that quest, you can talk to this guy over here. This guy has a very easy, easy quest. Talk to the lumberjack. He'll say that you need to collect 20 apples from the tree and literally to collect apples. You just need to bang on the tree, and eventually it will drop apples, as you can see. And you need 20 apples, and this guy will give you another reward. I think he gives you, like, a level or something. I forgot the reward from it, but it does give you something from completing the quest. And, um, there is banks over here. And with banks, you can deposit your money just so that you don't have to worry about dying and losing all of it or half of it. Because when you die, you do lose half of your money. Beware. You do you lose half of your money when you die. And um, the first place I recommend buying stuff from is the archer. Because early game, uh, I recommend using the bow a little bit. But once you get the bronze greatsword, I recommend learning how to use this. Since a lot more fights involve the sword than, it, that, uh, than they do involving the bow. And once you talk to the archer... You can ask what he's trying to sell you. Hold on, let me... Is the volume off of this game? No, okay, it's not. Basically, he can sell you the bow, the archer stuff, and he can sell you this, which is good. He gives you agility. And, um... This gear is good because it starts you off with some nice defense and decks. Also gives you some good agility as well. Um, gives you some really good defense, and it's a really good armor to start out with. And where's the blacksmith? Over here... There's a blacksmith who sells you weapons and other gear. And you can go over here, you can get the bronze stuff. You can go over here, you can get like magic stuff. You can, go, you can build a magic build. But uh, you get the great sword, which I recommend getting. Or you can just get the regular bronze sword. But you definitely want the bronze pickaxe. That is definitely what you want. Is definitely the bronze pickaxe to start you off. And this guy, he has armor. Which is good to start out with. You can see it has a horned helmet. This gives some good defense. And the wander, which gives some good agility. But as you can probably tell, the archer's gear is better. So I don't recommend coming to this guy for armor. But I'll show you later when you progress. So, once you complete enough quests, this guy's going to ask you to kill the Thief King. Which is all the way in the cave over here. Uh, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come through this cave here. And once you get through basically you want to go to the left always go to the left not to the right and there will be some thieves you have to fight to get through it but you should be fine throughout and the only thing i'd worry about early game is definitely the pebble cores those guys are pretty tough to start out with you see those guys with the eyes over there i yeah see they they have some pretty long range and they're kind of tough to beat but once you get level, once you level up a little bit, they become pretty easy. As you can see, you can knock them back pretty easily, and um, they're really easy to avoid their attacks. I'm just not blocking since I have a ton of health. If you block, you can see it literally does one damage. It's very good at evading, 
and um once you come on over here you'll see there's a thief king over here you can grind this guy um he's gonna be it's a it's a pretty hard early boss but once you level up it will, be, it will become a lot easier and this guy does drop uh, something very good. I think it's the thief's helmet or the thief's crown or something. It's very bad. I wouldn't recommend trying to get in the drops in this guy. Well, I think he does have some other drop. He does have the thief king cloak, which is just a pretty good add-on. You don't really need it. But um, I recommend killing this guy just to complete the quest. And once you complete the quest, he'll tell you to go on over to the desert, which has a lot harder enemies, which is actually the place I'm in right now. And, um, that place has a lot better armor, like, a lot better armor, and it, it, will, give, it will give you, um, it gives you a lot, it gives you very good armor, it gives you basically the, um, area where you're gonna want to get strength. Right now, I have a, a piece of chest gear that gives 10 strength, but I'm gonna show you real quick where that is. Let me go to the mirror, and the desert, um, I'll show you where the desert is real quick after I just show you this gear. Once you go over here, you can ask him for some equipment, and you can see that he has some very good equipment. He has the Fight Knight, which gives 10 strength, or if you want to go the Pit Fighter, he gives you Dex, Defense, and Strength, which is pretty good, but it's mainly for Spears, so. And, um, this is for more strength, and this is for Mages. So real quick, let me go back to the area, and let me just show you where this desert even is. So from the village you're going to want to come down here and there's a little bit of a rainstorm so it's hard to see but it's down there if you go down here you will be crossing a bridge and once you cross the bridge don't worry about the guy he says he's going to kill you but he's not going to do it and you just want to cross the bridge over to the desert now what you can do is if you're a little low level uh, what you can do is you can just sneak by, meaning you can just walk like this. You don't have to run. You can just sneak by the enemies to get where you need to be. But you're going to need to fight them eventually, obviously. But, um, yeah. But, uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Because that's all the quests I have right now. I'll make an ultimate beginner's guide when I'm better at this game. Right now, this is just a way to get your the basics and how to find your, uh, how to find your place, you know what you need to do but uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button down below subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya